In the annals of the Old West, a character stands out as the embodiment of a hero with courage and adventure. Nat Love, renowned as the greatest black cowboy, has left an indelible mark on the wild frontier. His daring exploits and unmatched writing skills have earned him the infamous nickname Deadwood Dick. In this video, we delve into the remarkable life of this pioneering icon and explore the legacy he left behind in the dusty streets of the Old West. Remember to hit the like button because it helps us a lot. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the notification bell to not miss the upcoming interesting videos. Nat Love, commonly known as Nate, was born on June 1854 on Robert Love's plantation in Davidson County, Tennessee. His beginnings were marked by slavery, but fate had other plans as he grew up to become one of the most famous cowboys in the Old West. Raised in a modest cabin, Nat's father worked as a slave foreman on a plantation while his mother managed the kitchen. Among his siblings are Sally, his sister, and Jordan, his brother. Despite oppressive laws that forbade blacks from being educated, Nat learned to read and write as a child with the help of his father, Samson. After the abolition of slavery, Nat's parents remained at Love Plantation as sharecroppers, growing tobacco and corn on a modest plot of about 20 acres. Tragically, his father, Samson, passed away shortly after. Nat then took various odd jobs at the plantations in the area to help support the family. During this time, Nat's outstanding horse trainer talent became apparent. While engaged in various odd jobs in the area, he twice happened to win a horse in a lottery. Realizing their value, he sold him back to the owner for a handsome sum of $50. Accumulating money, Nat seizes the opportunity to leave the homeland. At the age of 16, he set out for the great American West, ready to embark on a new journey. In 1869, Love arrived in Dodge City, Kansas, where he came across the crew of the Duval, Texas Ranch. Having just brought a herd of cows to the Kansas Railroad, cowboys were chatting comfortably when Nat joined them. Eager to find work, the young man wasted no time approaching the trail boss. Nat's request was met with a challenge. The boss agreed to give him the job on one condition. He had to tame a horse named Good Eye. Famed as the wildest horse, Nat later recalled that it was the most difficult ride he had ever faced. Still, he persevered, riding successfully and securing a spot at Duval Ranch with a monthly salary of $30. Nat quickly adapted to the cowboy lifestyle, impressing others with his excellent farming skills. He hones his shooting with his trusty revolver. His shooting skills have also become very good. Renowned as one of Duval's best cowboys, he quickly became a buyer and read their main brand. In this capacity, Nat made several trips to Mexico, where he quickly became fluent in Spanish. After three years with the Duval outfit, Love moved to Arizona in 1872, working at Gallinger Ranch located along the Gila River. During this time, he fo often found himself in dangerous situations, facing Indian battles, as well as confronting thieves and bandits. During his time as an Arizona cowboy, Nat became known by the nickname Red River Dick. He proudly claims to have come across many legendary figures in the West, including Pat Garrett, Pat Masterson, and even Billy the Kid. In the spring of 1876, Gallinger cowboys were assigned to herd a large herd of cows to Deadwood, South Dakota. When the group arrived on July 3rd, it coincided with the time when the locals were busy preparing for the next day's festival. Among the many events planned, a cowboy contest showed off a lucrative $200 cash prize to the winner, which included competitions in horseback riding and marksmanship. Winning every contest, Nat walked away with a $200 par prize and fans nicknamed him Deadwood Dick. Allusion to a literary character created by Edward Lytton Wheeler. In October 1877, Nat Love was captured by a group of Pima Indians while rounding up stray cattle near the Gila River in Arizona. Though he claims to have received more than 14 bullet wounds during his career, several bullet wounds during this fight with the Native Americans while trying to avoid capture. 
Love says his life was spared because most Indians respected his legacy. He almost married the chief's daughter. The group of Native Americans brought him back to health, eager to adopt him into the tribe. Finally, on a quiet night, Love secretly stole a horse and fled to West Texas. In the years that followed, he continued to live the life of a cowboy, enjoying its adventures and challenges. In 1889, he decided to settle down with a woman named Alice. The following year, Nat found work in Denver, Colorado, as a Pullman porter on the Denver and Rio Grande Railroad. He worked the routes west of Denver and moved his family several times to Wyoming, Utah, and Nevada before settling in Southern California. In 1907, Nat Love published his fascinating autobiography titled The Life and Adventures of Nat Love, better known in the cattle country as Deadwood Dick. Nat's stories possessed a certain epic quality, garnering more attention than the pompous novels of that era. While Nat brags about the events in his books, there is little outside endorsement of some aspects, such as encounters with famous Western figures. Likewise, records verifying the ranchers and cowboys he claims to have worked with are non-existent. The precise balance between fact and fiction in Nat's narrative will forever remain shrouded in mystery. However, this uncertainty failed to stop the American public's appetite for Wild West stories, which led to Nat's autobiography being widely consumed. For Nat Love's last career, he ended his illustrious career as a courier for the general securities of the vibrant city of Los Angeles, California. He died there in 1921 at the age of 66, buried at Woodlawn Cemetery, Santa Monica, Los Angeles County, California, USA. Nat Love, embodying bravery, resilience, and daring, has carved an indelible legacy as the greatest black cowboy ever to roam the wild frontier. His brave spirit and horsemanship made him immortal as Deadwood Dick, a legend in the annals of Western lore. Nat Love's extraordinary life, chronicled in his autobiography, captured the imaginations of many readers. Although the line between fact and fiction may be forever blurred, the nature of Nat's character and the impact of his stories continue to inspire generations. As we bid farewell to the thrilling chapters of Nat Love's adventures, remind us of the triumphs and struggles of a pioneer who defies expectations. From his humble childhood chalet to the vast expanses of the American West, Nat Love has left a lasting mark on courage and resilience. So let us take off our hats to the greatest black cowboy in the Old West, Deadwood Dick himself, as his spirit galloped across the prairies of our imaginations, a testament to the indomitable spirit of man and the legacy of Old Western legends. Please like and share if you find the video content interesting and useful. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and comment below so as not to miss the upcoming interesting videos. Thanks for watching.